morning, everyone. I have an all-level seated Hapa Yoga class for you today. You might like to have a couple of blocks, so if you have some yoga blocks at home, go grab those now and just move them off to the side. Let's find a comfortable seat, cross-legged if that works for you, and feel free to grab one of your blocks and tuck it under your seat if that makes sitting up more comfortable. Let's roll the shoulders up, back and down. Take a big breath in through the nose, big sigh out through the mouth. Then place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart and close your eyes. On your next inhale, expand into the belly and then into the rib cage and into the chest. A nice slow, long exhale, softening the chest, the rib cage, and the belly. And again, slow, deep inhale, expanding into the abdomen, the rib cage, and the chest. A nice slow, long exhale, softening the chest the rib cage, gentle contraction of the belly at the bottom. Just keep breathing in that fashion. few more cycles. Last round. At the bottom of your exhale, release your hands to your lap and take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Go ahead and open up the eyes. Let's begin to draw circles with our rib cage moving around the hips. One more this way. And then switch direction.
And last one this way. And then begin to go forward, up, back, and down, making vertical circles. Three more. And then bring yourself all the way up. Interlace your fingers and then on your next inhale, reach up, opening up the chest. And on your next exhale, round the spine, gently contracting the abs. Inhale, extend and open. Exhale, round and contract the abs. Three more like that. And then reach up and hold here. Working arms as straight as you can and maybe even moving arms behind the ears. behind you, walk the fingers back, draw the shoulders back and open up the chest. back in and let's switch the cross of the feet extend the left right arm up to the right and reach the left arm up and over towards the right Sweep the arms forward and up on your inhale. And exhale, twist to the right. Right hand to the mat behind you and then left hand to right knee. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's drop that left ear towards the left shoulder, the front shoulder. stays the same, just begin to turn the head towards your front shoulder.
twist and let's take a few shoulder rolls. And then begin to walk the left hand out to the left, reach right arm up and over to the left. up tall arms forward and up inhale and then exhale twist to the left placing left hand behind you and right hand to left knee sitting up nice and tall drop your right ear towards your right shoulder or your front shoulder Everything else stays the same. Just begin to turn the head towards the front shoulder. back to center and again a few shoulder rolls and then bring your hands to your shoulders we're going to draw big circles here bringing the arms down forward and up if you can touch the elbows at the top and as you open see if you can touch the backs of the wrists behind the head and then drop and then bringing them forward and up, touching the elbows, and then up and back, touching the backs of the wrists if you can, just like that. that three more times. And last one. And release. And once more, let's walk the hands forward and fold in any amount. back up and let's turn to face the side of the mat extend both legs long take a moment to move the flesh back away from your seat feel free to sit on one of your blocks we're going to sit up nice and tall bending knees as needed push out through the balls of the feet stretch the toes back and up towards you hands can come beside you if you have long arms your hands might be able to go flat if you have short arms like me maybe it's finger pads Pressing down into the floor a bit, sitting up nice and tall, but keeping the shoulders relaxed, holding here for a few breaths.
Then keep the legs as they are, arms up, inhale, and exhale, fold forward, nice and easy. Inhale, extend the chest, and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, reach up, inhale, and exhale, fold forward, nice and easy. Inhale, extend the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, reach up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extend the chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Twice more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Keep your right leg long. Let's bend the left knee. Bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh, opening the left knee to the left. Reach arms up. Inhale and exhale. Fold over your right leg. You can grab the foot or the ankle. Have the knee as bent as needed. And release the fold. Keep your legs in this shape. Plant your left hand behind you and lift the hips. Arch the back. Just a couple breaths. And lower your hips back down. Keep right leg long. Turn left knee up. Cross the left foot over the right leg. Left hand behind you. Right arm to the sky. Inhale. Length and exhale. Twist left. You can either hook the elbow to the outside of the knee or hold the knee with the hand. That works better. Reach arms up, inhale, and exhale, fold over your leg. Wrapping hands around the foot or the shin, keeping knees bent as needed. And release the forward fold. Let's plant the right hand behind us and then lift the hips, arch the back, just a couple breaths. And lower hips back down. Keep left leg long, right knee bent, point the right knee up, cross it over, left leg, right hand behind you, left arm to the sky, inhale, and exhale, twist right. Inhale, extend the chest, 
and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Okay, let's turn to face each other. Feet together, knees wide. Feel free to sit on the block. Bring the feet in as close as is comfortable. Sit up nice and tall, and then press the knees down towards the mat any amount you can. For this first part, we'll just stay upright, and we'll fold forward in a little bit. left hand and wrap them around the big toe of the left foot and then just take the right foot out just a little bit ahead of you. Right hand behind you, using that for support, we're going to lift and extend that left leg out and up, holding here a couple breaths. right fingers, wrap them around the big toe of the right foot, left hand behind you, use that to help support you, and begin to extend that right leg out and up, holding here a couple breaths. again on either side or maybe both legs at the same time. So if you're taking both legs, wrap um, both sets of these fingers around either big toe, make sure you've got some space behind you in case you hold back. And again, either doing just the left first or maybe extending both legs out and up, sitting up nice and tall if you can. And then release for a couple breaths. Okay, so either both legs again or repeating the right. Lean back a little and then begin to extend just the right or maybe both legs out and up. Holding here. Again, feet in nice and close, or maybe keep them at a distance, sitting up nice and tall, sitting on your block if you like, working knees as close to the mat as you can, maybe folding forward this time, or sitting upright if that's your preference. Take our legs nice and wide. Again, you can sit on the block here if that makes you more comfortable. If you want to go deeper, use your hands for support to help lift yourself up a bit and take it a little bit wider. Let's pause here for a moment with hands on the floor or mat for support and focus on the feet. Push out through the balls of the feet and then stretch the toes back towards you. That will help keep all these muscles active. Pausing here a few breaths, sitting up nice and tall. Then 
continuing here for a few more breaths, maybe walking the hands a little bit out ahead, maybe even coming to the forearms. We're going to really focus on lengthening the chest forward, keeping the back body nice and long. A few more breaths here. And then come all the way up again. Let's close up a little bit, but still, still stay relatively wide. And then uh, begin to bend your left knee, place the left foot close to the left inner thigh. And um, place your left hand on your hip, back of the right hand to the inside of the right leg, open chest towards the left. Staying here, maybe sliding that right hand any amount towards the foot. Uh, left hand can stay on hip or maybe reach up, maybe reach overhead by foot to ear. And then release the side bend. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So begin to open up the left leg, bend the right knee. Bringing right foot closer to the right inner thigh. Right hand to hip, back of left hand to the inside of the leg, open chest to the right. And then maybe start to slide that left hand towards the foot. Maybe extend the right arm up or keep the hand on the hip. Maybe arm overhead, bicep to ear. wide again. And again, you might like to help yourself to get a little bit deeper, a little bit wider. Sitting on your block as needed or wanted, hands out in front for support, maybe going ahead and walking those hands forward, lowering to the forearms. Holding here a few more breaths, taking it as deep as you like. Keep your feet active, pushing out the balls of the feet, stretching the toes back towards you. soften and then use your hands to help the legs in. Give yourself a gentle squeeze and then extend the legs out front for a moment. Give your feet, hips and legs a little release and we'll begin by keeping right knee bent uh, or sorry right leg long and then bending left knee and crossing the left knee over the right one. Again feel free to sit on your block. This might be enough of an outer hip opener for you in which case you can stay there. If you want more Bend the bottom leg and bring that foot in. For a little bit less, bring it closer to your seat. For a little bit more sensation in the outer hips, try to line up the feet with the knees. Try to stay rooted through both hips, try not to lean to, to the right side. Holding the ankles or the shins, let's sit up tall for a few breaths. And then begin to walk with the left hand out to the left and then reach the right arm up and over into a side bend. And release. 
Hands to the ankles or shins again, staying upright or maybe folding forward for a few breaths, any amount. Walk your right hand out to the right and reach the left arm up and over for a side bend, holding here a few breaths. to the ankle sitting up tall or maybe folding forward for a few breaths. Towards you, both arms to the sky. Inhale and exhale. Hinge forward at the hips and fold and fold. Bend the knees, place the feet back to the mat. Let's shift the hips to the middle of the mat. And with the knees bent, either reach forward or hold the backs of the thighs and roll all the way onto your back. Once your head and shoulders land, walk the feet in a bit closer and let the feet come together. 
Let the knees go wide and let's bring the arms out, cactus style, beside us, palms facing up. Hands the outside of the knees, close the knees up, hug the knees in. And then place the feet to the mat. Extend the right leg to the sky and cross the right thigh over the left one. Let's try to match up the knees if we can and then pick up both feet. And then reach for the shins or maybe you can reach for the ankles. So similar to what we did seated. And then draw those legs in towards you and then pull the feet away from each other. distance apart, we're down to the hands and the feet and lift up, bridge pose, tuck the shoulders underneath you, maybe interlace the fingers beneath you. Slowly release, pausing at the bottom and untucking the shoulders. Then begin to extend left leg up and then cross the left leg over the right one, lining up the knees if you can. Pick up both feet and then reach for the ankles or the shins. Hug those legs in towards you while simultaneously pulling the feet away from each other. to the mat, hip distance apart. Let's take it back to bridge pose. Lifting up, tucking the shoulders underneath you, and then maybe interlacing fingers below you. Slowly release and then tuck the shoulders and pause. Let's the feet, let's let the feet go wide and let the knees come together, pausing here for a few breaths, maybe placing hands on the belly. Extend the arms out to the sides. Keep the feet wide and now open up the knees so the knees are wide too and drop your knees to the right. Maybe head turns to the left.
you turned your head, bring your head to neutral first, and then the knees and feet to neutral. Again, the feet as wide as the mat and knees as wide as the mat as well. This time, drop your knees to the left and maybe turn head to the right. You turned your head, bring your head to neutral first and then the knees to neutral. And let's pick up the feet, draw the knees in, open them wide, wrap your hands on the outsides of the feet and find happy baby. Release the feet, draw the knees in. One more big squeeze, take a big breath in through the nose. Big sigh out through the mouth. Release the legs long. The feet flop open, arms by to side, palms facing up. Take another big breath in through the nose. Soft sigh out through the mouth. Melt into your mat. 